Hello y'all, welcome back to the channel. So if you don't know me, my name is Haley Greening. So I haven't done like an actual makeup video in months. <laughs> And it's Christmas time, so today is Christmas Eve that I'm filming this, and tonight I have to work. Um, it's actually my first day, and I'm working at like an old folks home, so I'm trying to bring a little holiday cheer, and then after that I'm going to my aunt's house and we're gonna have dinner or whatever. So, I want to bring a little holiday cheer to the day, and um, sorry I'm used to vlogging so I'm kind of just everywhere, <laughs> but we're gonna bring a little holiday cheer to the day and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do so let's just get okay so i'm gonna be starting off with doing my eyebrows i do my eyebrows with eyeshadow i use the shade oh i use the shade buck in the naked the urban decay naked one palette um it works really well and then i just use like a flat brush <laughs> So my brushes are also dirty, so please excuse that, but I have this like fluffy concealer brush that I got in my Ipsy bag. That's pretty much how I've been getting on my makeup lately because I don't spend any money on my makeup lately. <laughs> but um, I use this all over my face because I've actually been obsessed with using brushes instead of um, a beauty blender lately. Like it's been, it just, I feel like it gives me more of a glowy finish and I heard somebody say that before and I was like, that person's insane. Like. I feel like it looks so cakey, but I was wrong. Like, first of all, I think when I first started makeup, I don't know what it was, but like, no matter what I used, my skin looked cakey. And obviously, part of it was that I was just starting out. The other part is, I think my skin just wasn't used to like makeup. <laughs> so, um, whenever I used a brush, it just made it that much worse. But now that I kind of know what I'm doing as far as skin, um, it makes it so much easier. 
using a brush and I feel like it actually goes a lot faster even with a smaller brush like this but like look how glowy this side is already like I should do a video on like testing different beauty blenders versus brushes or something look how glowy she is oh my gosh and I have natural lighting in here today I'm so sorry about the background I need to figure this set out about I literally say that every tutorial but, or like whatever you want to call this video but at least I got some natural lighting so you can like genuinely see the glow in this so I mixed I didn't even tell you what I was using the matte poreless fit me foundation and which is in shade 120 and um the it cosmetic cc cream like both of them make me glowy when i use a brush so anyways we're gonna keep on keeping on so i have the kylie powder so i'm gonna be taking some of this and setting my eyes eyebrows and under eyes using like a smaller fluffy brush And then I like using my Baby Beauty Blender to, oh no, there's a fuzz, to really pack that under my eyes. It's like, normally I did this before, but I didn't actually like bake, you know? But I also didn't like normally do my foundation before, and that's just how I've been doing it lately. So... Just a little bit, and then we're gonna start on the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna pick out what I'm gonna be using, and I'll come back. Sorry if the quality's bad. I'm using my other phone to show you guys this really quick. So I wanted to use the Jeffree Star Jawbreakers palette in the shade Licorice for the red, and then it doesn't really have like a good Christmas green, so I might be using this, which I have no idea where that's from. <laughs> and um, then I have. The 6th edition 120 color eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics, which is like a cheaper makeup brand and their eyeshadow stain me, but that is okay. I'm going to be using like some of these greens right here. I don't really know what yet. I'll tell you guys as we go. I just wanted to show you this really quick. Okay, so I'm thinking doing like a reverse cut crease again because I really like the way that the two that I've done turned out. But it wasn't like red and green because those are hard to like mix together without it just being brown so we're gonna try our best my makeup brushes are not clean so good luck to me but i'm going to try my best also i haven't been like into my shadow shit ton lately so i really like it's like one of those skills that like you have to keep up on otherwise like you'll lose it so we'll see how this goes we're gonna try though we're gonna try Okay, so I'm gonna go in with an e.l.f. brush. Um, it's rubbed off, so I don't know which one. I think it says blending eye something. I really can't read it, but it's just like a smaller brush. And I'm gonna go in with, wait, hold on. I'm gonna be using the Pixie Glow Mist because that's the only water-ish substance I have with me. This has oil in it, so I hope it doesn't ruin this look, but. We're gonna try it anyways. I just like spritzed my brush like three times so that it's just a little damp. And I'm gonna hit licorice. And go in on the outer corner. Just tapping. Of course she has to vacuum right now. So I'm gonna go like halfway into my eye. Let me bring you guys in closer, hold on. Okay, it's definitely a lot closer, so. Also, just like a quick side note. Um, whenever I do videos, like the quality looks freaking amazing. And then as soon as I put it into YouTube, it looks horrible and I don't know why. And it's so frustrating. Cause like, I know I'm using my phone, but it's still like this is a really good quality like it looks so good like it looks so crystal clear when i'm editing the whole way through but as soon as it's in youtube it looks like, like shit <laughs> but we're gonna keep moving on all right so i'm gonna be taking 
it's almost the same brush but oh it's, too close. it's almost the same brush but it's just a little bit bigger and fluffier and dry so i'm gonna be taking the outside and just tapping it and blending it out just a little bit but from experience i did figure out that um if you blend colors too much that's when it starts looking bad and like a black eye so i'm just blending it super soft on the outside just so that it's kind of like that and i'm gonna do that on this side So I'm gonna be doing something similar, but with the green, um, I, oh my gosh, I have more brushes. Hold that thought. I, I totally forgot that I keep some brushes in this thing up on my dresser. So I'm this color right here and tap it off because fallout and just start packing it on right here. I'm stupid. I forgot to spray this. I'm going to spray this brush also because we're trying to have pigmented uh, brushes. This green is just a tad too light for my likings. So I'm going to go in with this Mineral Fusion Focus Mineral Fusion thing. And I'm going to go in with the darkest color over here and just deepen it up just a tad. It. This is also kind of sparkly, so Ooh, that's more what I was looking for. And now I'm gonna do what I did here and I'll do the first. So reverse cut creases definitely look better with three colors just looked it but we figured this out together so um it feels like it's missing something but like i don't have any cute stars or anything like that to put on so i'm just gonna go in and do a wee down here and we're gonna go back in and finish the face really quick i like to take a big fluffy brush and wipe that away transfer what was there now that it's on the brush all the way around the face right and then i'm gonna go in with my butter bronzer and that brush that i was just that smaller brush this one and bronze up I went in oh, and I used the Milani Rose Blush and I put a little bit of that on my cheeks and on my nose a little bit. I've been obsessed with this highlighter because I'm tan right now and it literally, because it's like a warm tone, it's literally so perfect for my skin right now. It, it looks like a glow, like it doesn't look like I stuck highlighter on, like it looks like a true glow. So we're just going to pop some of that on. I'm getting a little too tan for it too. But most of my highlighters are like ice highlighters. So what am I gonna do? I keep getting tan. Ooh, I'm going to Mexico by the way. A bitch is gonna come back looking like a mixed baby. Concentrate oil with Cadu Plum in it. 
that was a mouthful. You guys keep, why is this not focusing? Hello? Okay, well, that's what it looks like. I'm about to put a little bit of this on my lips. If you're trying to take like a quick picture or something like that, perfect loss. Just saying. Anyways, oh, quick side note. If you guys wanna see what the hell happened to my hair, be sure to check out the video. I will have it right there. I forget this flips, or maybe it doesn't. It's on one of these corners. <laughs> we go through this every time, but it's like green green now, so Merry fucking Christmas. But, it's the finished look. Oh, I guess I should've kept you guys in there. This is the finished look. I do this every time I film a video, like a makeup video. I forgot to put mascara on, hold on, let me, let me just, okay, we got the mascara on now. Just quick side note, if you want to put like red or green or whatever under, that would look so cute, but like with me, every time I do that, I don't know why, but it looks like black eyes, so we're not going to, but anyways, this is the finished look. Red lipstick would look cute too, but I'm going to work, so I'm trying to keep it like, let's tone it down a little bit, but let's be Christmassy, like green hair, who is she? Mm -hmm. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Please hit that red subscribe button if you want to see more of me content, literally like every day, twice a day sometimes, like it's a problem. And I will see you all later. Peace.